Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the LACA menu. So when you first um, start LACA from your SPC or single board computer, so in this case, I'm using a Orange Pi PC. Um, this um, theme is not very stable. This tends to crash a lot for some reason after like five to ten minutes so you could go to the gear bar and go to um, user interface go to menu section before you do that go to um, configuration and set it to save configuration on quit that's all you have to do and then go to user interface go to menu and you can change it I like ozone so I'm going to change it to ozone I'm gonna restart RetroArch now I should go on to ozone I like this menu better you could choose other menus as well Go to user interface. Make sure um, show advanced features is on. And I'm going to support select RGUI. See how that looks like. So you could change the themes here. This is another theme. Some people like it, but I don't, so I'm going to switch it, go back to settings, go back to user interface, change it to ozone, restart. That's how you change the user interface. And another thing you should do is you should go to uh, settings and set your control pad before it was at 5 maximum users was at 5 but I changed it to 2 and another thing you could do is go to hotkeys don't menu op, menu menu controls no hotkeys I'm sorry so I you have to select um, a key com a controller combination so you can exit to the menu so for menu toggle controller combo I selected start select you could select whatever you want here you could select left one right one or whatever um, left two or right two like that this is what I like uh, quit controller combo I selected this one if I press it together it should just quit the next thing I want to do is go to port 1 this is where you can set the controllers you can select your controller device for me it's Logitech dual action that's the controller that I'm using and you can go in here and set the controller. So up, D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right, A, B, X, Y. And you can see the layout of the control. Select, start, left one, right one, left two, right one, left two. And... Um, L3 and L R3 analog up analog down analog left analog right left right analog up right analog down right analog left right analog right and now the control set and here you have to select uh, analog to digital type make sure it's left analog 
if you have none then you're not going to be able to use your analog stick and that's pretty much that's pretty much for that and we go to um, network or Wi-Fi you could connect to Wi-Fi but my um, Orange Pi PC does not have Wi-Fi so I can't select it for video you can go to scaling and change it uh, integer on if you want but I, I select it off usually core provided is good I'm just gonna run some games show you how to do that and see go to uh, load content so in my SBC I have a USB drive connected to it and I am loading ROMs from my USB flash drive especially the bigger ROM files like uh, PlayStation games and stuff like that. I put that I put this in my USB drive so you go to storage ROMs and this is a USB drive right here and I put my games in here PSX and I'll run Let me just pick a game. This one. Select an emulator, Sony PlayStation, PCSX rearmed. When you're running a PlayStation emulator make sure you have all the BIOS files and put them in the systems folder Okay, that's enough. So that's how you start a game. So, um, Laka is um, it's very much like um, Retro Arc in many ways. You could uh, load cores 
for some reason you can't download any cores like you can on RetroArch. All the cores were provided here, provided with the emulator station that is. So I can go to online updater and I could update LACA. The one that I have is 4.2. So let me show you what I have here. Here's network information. This is your IP address. You could use that to connect to your um, LACA, or you could also uh, select forward slash forward slash LACA or forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.124, which is in this case. I can connect to my network via Samba and then go to system information. The build that I have is 4.2 as you can see. That's the latest one. And I'll run another game. You could go to import content as well. Scan file is just to put in one game at a time. So I'll put um, Commando in there. Missile Command and I guess Pac Man. So now I got Atari 2600 and these games. So I'm going to run it. I'm going to set the core association to Atari 2600 Stella. Run. Get out and start and select. I got out of that. That's how you start games. For some of these emulators, you need BIOS files and you need to put them in appropriate folders. Most of the times, it goes into the systems folder. I'll show you where that is. I think it's here. It's in the systems folder. You can connect to it from your Windows based computer. Oh well, yes, I'll show you, show you about the video settings. That one doesn't work. So internal is the one that's in my um, micro SD card. And that is for the uh, flash drive, basically. So I'll support a, try to select the name emulator for it and see if it works. Okay, that works. You can support different MAME emulators. So I'm going to show you something about changing um, video settings. So I'll go to scaling and what I'm using right now is core provided. If I select integer I could press start select to go back. Go back 
the scaling again. I guess it doesn't make a difference here. Some games do, so I could change the aspect ratio. As you can see, it changed. That looks different. That doesn't look so good. So I'm going to switch it back to this core provided. It looks pretty good. So you could change the video settings like that. It's the same all across the board for different SBCs as well. Okay, I'm going to get out of it, start select. And I'm going to shut it down. Just go to quick menu, close it. And that's about it. And that's how you could um, change your settings in LACA and run games basically. So um, I'll be making more videos in the future, but it will be more specific to running specific emulators on a LACA. And I'll show you how to do that. I have another video which shows you how to copy the image of LACA on your uh, to your um, micro SD card. But I'm assuming that you guys already know how to do that because this, this video is just about navigating through the menu for LACA and that's about it and uh, you could just go here to main menu and shut down your SPC and that's pretty much it and thanks for watching